Hi there, this is Megan with Left and Knots, and today I'm going to make a quick video tutorial to show you uh, some of the stitch work that is used in the Amelia Poncho sweater or the Amelia Adult Poncho sweater. Uh, today I'm just using a regular worsted weight acrylic, but um, you can use whatever yarn you've decided to use for these projects. For the toddler size sweater, I used Karen Cakes yarn, and for the adult size project, I used a bulkier Woolies tonal so it would work up a little bit more quickly. So right now you can see I've got a small swatch worked up here. These are the half double V stitches that I use in the pattern. I started with a chain that was a multiple of three. And then I've worked in about five or six rows of half double V stitches. I will show you one more row of half double V stitches in case you would like to see those. Please note that I am left-handed. So this is a left-handed crochet tutorial, um, but obviously this pattern works if you're right-handed as well. So you're going to start with the chain two. And it's okay that you've got these bumps along your raw edge here because we're going to clean those up with a single crochet around the edge at the end of the project. So you start with your chain two and then your half double V stitch is a half double crochet, chain stitch, half double crochet. And that is all worked into the chain stitch of the previous half double V. So again, your next half double V will go in this next chain space. Half double crochet, chain, half double crochet. And there is no chain stitch between each half double V stitch. So the only chain stitch that, that you do is the chain stitch that is actually in what I'm calling your half double V or the HDV as I have it abbreviated in the pattern. So I'll work a couple more of those in here. And then after that I'm going to get to the edging because that's the part that I've had the most questions about is that single crochet ribbed edging. Okay, so you're at the end of your row and now you're going to single crochet around the edge. I always chain one. And then I've been working about three single crochets per two rows of half double V stitches. So I've been working a single crochet in this space here. And then I've been working two single crochets in that chain two space. Another single crochet here. It's really not that important how many single crochet stitches you use along the side as long as you're placing them evenly and that you're keeping the shape of your piece. And then when you get to the corner I always work an extra single crochet into that corner to turn it. And okay, so now I'm back at the corner. And that is where you want to be when you start your single crochet ribbing. So if this was your full piece, this side that I'm going to be working on will be your long edge. And then these would be your short edges here. And your neck hole would be somewhere in the middle here. So to do the ribbing, you start chain stitching. I'm going to chain seven. I believe that's the number of chain stitches for the toddler size poncho. And then I'm going to skip this very first single cro or this very first chain stitch and single crochet in the check second chain stitch from my hook. And then I'm going to continue single crocheting down that chain. all the way back to the 
the beginning there. Now, this is the part that I think has confused a few people. I'm going to take my hook, insert it into this single crochet of the edging here, and just slip stitch right there to anchor those stitches in place. Now, I'm going to put my hook into this next single crochet, and again, I'm just going to slip stitch and pull tight. And this is just basically a way of seaming that single crochet ribbed edging while we're working. Chain one and turn. And now we're working in back loop only. We're going to single crochet. It's going to be six single crochet now. All the way down. Chain one and turn, single crochet all the way back down. And I just want to show you this anchoring part one more time. So this stitch here is where I anchored last time and so I'm going to go into my next open single crochet of the single crochet edging, insert my hook and slip stitch, pull tight, then I'm going to go over one more single crochet, insert my hook, slip stitch, and pull tight. And then you, that's the whole process, you just keep going back and forth, again working in back loop only now, and that's what gives you the nice kind of zigzag effect. It's almost like a faux knit look. Which I like about it. Chain one and continue. So I hope you found this helpful. If there's anything else about this pattern, or I should say these patterns, I have the toddler and the adult size now, please let me know. I'd love to um, help clarify any confusion. But here you can see that as we do that, we get this nice ribbed look along the edge there, and then that's what you continue up to make that ribbed edging of the poncho sweater. So if you haven't seen these patterns yet, check them out on my website, www.leftinknots.com. It's the Amelia poncho sweater and the Amelia adult poncho sweater.